Now I want to continue a case whereby I have a completely elastic collision. So Q is zero. Momentum is conserved because there was no net external force. So now kinetic energy is also conserved. And so I can write down now one half M1 V1 squared, that was the kinetic energy before the collision, must be the kinetic energy after the collision. One half M1 V1 prime squared plus one half M2 V2 prime squared. This is my equation number one, and this is my equation number two, and they can be solved. You can solve them, they are solved in your book. I will simply give you the results, because the results are very interesting to play with. That's what we will be doing today. V1 prime will be M1 minus M2 divided by M1 plus M2 times V1, and V2 prime will be 2 M1 divided by M1 plus M2 times V1. The first thing that you already see right away is that V2 prime is always in the same direction as V1. That's completely obvious, because the second object was standing still, remember? So if you plow something into the second object, they obviously continue in that direction. That's clear. So you see, you can never have a sign reversal here. Here, however, you can have a sign reversal. If you bounce a ping pong ball of a billiard ball, the ping pong ball will come back, and this one becomes negative. Whereas if you plow a billiard ball onto a ping pong ball, it will go forward. And so this can both be negative and can be positive, depending upon whether the upstairs is negative or positive. So this is the result which holds under three conditions. That the kinetic energy is conserved, so Q is zero, that momentum is conserved, and that V2 before the collision equals zero. <laughs>